Wonderful, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries. We're here at the Hanover Fairground. My name is Mona and I will be your moderator for the next 20 minutes. I invite you all to come and have a seat, have a drink. There's a lovely lady walking around serving you with complimentary tea and coffee. Also at this moment, I would like to say hello and welcome to all our online guests. We are live streaming from the fair, from the public forum. Our first speaker will be Mr. Embrich, and he will be talking about hydrogen storage system by Experion. So for that, please welcome with me on stage, Mr. Embrich. Big hands, please. So, I see a new face here on stage, uh, Mr. Emrich. It is the first time that Experian has come to the fair, so I'm really interested. How do you like the fair so far? Oh, it's our, fair, uh, our first exhibition at Hannover uh, Group Exhibit. It's, uh, we are very happy to be here. We have good talks and uh, a good response mm -hmm. from, um, it's very good here, a good fair for us. And so tell us, why are you here at the fair? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sorry to tell us, Mr. Kl uh, Dr. Kliszynski can't join us today, but um, I assure you, I will give you all the information and interesting facts Mr. Kliszynski planned for this exhibit today. Thank you for um, joining us here on stage. And um, I would like to know, and also for those in the audience who don't know, who is experienced? And could you give a brief company profile or short introduction? Yes, Experion is a part of the Avanco Group. So we are Experion Energy and Environment in Kessel, Germany. So um, we, our part is uh, the high pressure systems. The next part uh, would be Inometa. Inometa is, uh, is, um, started initially with um, um, shafts, carbon shafts for printing in industries. And um, we have another part, we have uh, com experience components um, who um, development and produce um, driving shafts for marine applications and also for uh, OEM applications. BMW M3 driving shaft, for example, and last but not least, uh, lightweight products for airplane and aerospace industries. So, uh, what do you do in regards with hydrogen technology? So, if we uh, experience in, in Castle, we have uh, 15 years experience with hydrogen uh, tanks. Uh, we started uh, our main experience is in uh, CNG applications. So we have um, high pressure cylinders um, for transportation, uh, for co container applications. We uh, work together with our partner Wüstrach. You can uh, see their booth over, over there, this direction. And, um, and another application um, are OEM applications for passenger cars. Uh, we, we have developed uh, and produces the um, vessel for the Audi A3 G-Tron. This is uh, the biggest um, serial production for Type 4 cylinders over the world. And um, yeah, there are some many more applications like bus applications and so on. Uh, mainly in the, uh, our main experience, is, uh, or, or our initial experience, start with the CNG projects and go further to uh, hydrogen high pressure systems. So, Experian ensures that hydrogen comes from A to B. Now, my question is what is so special about Experian's, uh, Experian's hydrogen systems? 
Um, we start in 2008 with our first development with hydrogen uh, high pressure systems. And uh, in 2009, we had a project with uh, OEM General Motors uh, so, um, to optimize, cost optimize, and optimize the light weight of a high pressure tank. And uh, in 2011, we um, built up with Wüstrach, with our partners, the first t uh, transport container uh, application for Lindegas, the 500 bar container for storage high, high pressure hydrogen. And also, we um, built up a container for 300 bar application. And what are the benefits of your containers? Um, you can store. Uh, it's a lightweight product, so you can store um, more hydrogen for, um, it's a, for for transportation. Yes, and also we have uh, application for passenger cars. We, um, um, I'm we are very glad to announce our 700 bar cylinder for passenger cars. It's a prototype. You can see over at our booth, we are warmly welcome at our booth at E42. So we have our tank for pe customized for passenger cars in length and diameter. And um, it is a prototype. And we are planning the certification um, to the regulations by end of the year. That is very good news. What I would like to know is that uh, in terms of the resistance um, towards corrosion, um, yes, we have, um, in comparison to a type 1 cylinder, it's a, it's a steel um, variant, so we have a type 4 cylinder, it's made of, um, of plastics and carbon fiber, so we have no problem with the corrosion, and also we have uh, a better life cycle as uh, a steel. What is the lifetime? It's nearly unlimited, yes. So. We all know that uh, we are here in to, uh, and we want a hydrogen infrastructure and um, we have been here for several years now, more than 20 years at the fair and um, we are now at a, a stage that we already have electrolyzers so we can already store the electricity with hydrogen. Now um, the question is how can we get how can we get the hydrogen or the energy thus um, to the end customer? And this is also a question that is really interesting for the government. What role does Experion play in the hydrogen market? Yes, this is a question from the government since years. How to transport uh, energy, uh, energy uh, without emission, green energy transportation? Um, you can um, use uh, renewable energies a windcraft, a solar, solar energy or biogas, uh, use uh, electrolysis to produce hydrogen. And yes, and there come our, pro our, our product to store the hydrogen with a high pressure system. And not only to store at uh, the, the electro generation, we can build up uh, or our product is applicable for the whole uh, infrastructural chain, so for storage, stationary, for um, for transportation, for um, mobile fueling stations, um, for bus applications, infrastructural for inner city buses, and um, also for passenger cars and OEM applications. That sounds like experience is ready for the big order from the automotive industry. Are you already in serial production, or what stage are you currently in? Uh, we have a prototype, and with 700 bar will be will be certified by end of the year. And um, yeah. So um, ready for the serial production? Um, for the serial production, <coughs> there is uh, um, the infrastructural um, um, issue. Um, uh, I, we wish there have to be more, uh, more uh, pressure on the infrastructural um, issues. So, uh, um, so I, I, I see that um, the, the product itself 
is, is ready and the automotive industry is already supplied. We do have the first prototypes of the hydrogen cars, but um, we currently don't have the infrastructure. That is a fact. This is, uh, this is frankly, it's just not enough. So why would Experian, Experian risk a market launch in the mobility sector? Don't you fear that there's um, no demand currently? No, rather we have um, <clears throat> the opportunity to support those projects with our applications. Mm -hmm. So we can support uh, projects with, for fueling stations. We, we have to not to wait uh, for the, uh, projects in OEM, so we can support projects to build up the infrastructure, fueling stations, mobile or stationary, and also uh, transportation uh, systems. And in addition to that, what is needed from the government and from the politicians in order to push for a hydrogen infrastructure and thus for hydrogen business development? Um, we wish that the government um, um, push the, the um, fuel cell um, technology in comparison to other technologies like battery. Uh, they, uh, we wish they push it more, bring more importance in, in this issue and um, bring them up. And also a very vital question. Um, so Hyundai and Toyota, they have started to launch the hydrogen-based cars also in zero production. And uh, one could say that that Germany has years of experience with the car industry and also um, the first car has been developed in Germany. So how come there's a aggressive development from the Asian market? Yes, uh, the, this Asian market, uh, Toyota and, uh, and, and Hyundai, this, they are uh, very ex aggressive at the market and build up uh, their cars. Um, I think this, this would be our benchmark for the, for the German technology in the OEMs and, and also the, uh, the government. Uh, we, I wish to, uh, they have to, to uh, speed up this technologies here, speed up the project for infra infrastructural and OEM projects. And in regards with that, Experian is there to assist the development and the expansion of the hydrogen infrastructure. Yeah. Wonderful. At this point in time, I invite the audience to participate in this discussion and ask questions. So uh, you can easily raise your hand and I will come to you to answer the question. Uh, what are the greatest volume you realize for uh, 700 bars and for 30 bar? For 700 bar, for you mean uh, the cylinder I uh, announced? Okay, we have a cylinder with 64 liter, um, and that would be this would be a hydrogen load by 2.57 kilogram. Any other question? And the weight of uh, 43 kilogram on the whole cylinder. Okay, um, that I would take another question, but I'm also running out of time here. We have been um, rushing through this interview. I'm really glad that Mr. Emrich was my guest here on stage. We have been speaking about the hydrogen storage system by Experian. And for those of you who are too shy to ask the question here, you can visit Mr. Emrich at the booth E41. It's part of the Hessen uh, Gemeinschaftsstand. Yes. Thank you for this interesting uh, talk here on stage. I had a pleasure having you here. And once again, big hands please for Mr. Emrich. Thank you. Thank you. Our next topic will be the ceramic max face coating and metal bipolar production for uh, FCEV. And for that, Dr. Henrik Lungkangs, Managing Director of Impact Coatings, will be speaking here in only two minutes time. Thank you very much.